Well, back to Loango, or as it's been feeling pretty slow, Ango. We've been inundated with Regency Councils, and we're still in one of them. But we really need to uh, assert our dominance over uh, Central Africa, if we're ever going to show the rest of the folks who's boss. This is a Loango campaign, and we're trying to get uh, at least the requirements for African power, because we already have that achievement. Uh, that one was bugged on release. So, where are we and what's happening? Uh, let me try and remember that in my head here. We have Kano and Dahomey as our vassals. Kano is Sunni, Dahomey is animist. Whereas we are shamanists, so we don't share religion with any of our vassals. I would really like to shift to a proper religion, Sunni would do. And uh, we'll be trying to do that by integrating Kano as soon as possible. But there's a bit of a problem. We went rather aggressive. We even uh, declared no Cassus Belli war on Kano to get them as a vassal. And we're rather unliked by the Sunnis. So we're going to expect quite a bit of a coalition when the truces are up. So we need to do our best to avoid that. How are we going to avoid that? Still working on the details there. We've got a lovely mission to protect against Strong High. They only have 11,000 men. We have 10. So all we need to do is recruit a single unit, and we'll have that one in the bag. Unless, of course, they also build a unit. That would be horrible for me. Hmm. I don't have any transport, so there's no point in building down there. We'll just build up here, then. Thankfully, you don't have to centralize unit production anymore, since armories are a thing of the past. Frankly, all is well. Okay, may as well unpause and get back to it. Now, uh, yeah, let's pause straight away. Zazao is extremely vulnerable right now. And against my better judgment, I'm going to help them out. With my four siege general. Yeah, I don't think that'll help us out all that much. Still, I will help them out. Stronghai already hate our guts. I may as well just throw an insult at Mali then. Just to get my PP high enough. Every little helps and all that. Yeah, Zazao, I kind of would love to carve them up and make them part of my greater empire. But there is a wee problem with that. I kind of need an ally here, there. Here and there, rather. Because when the coalitions come, I will want somebody to do some of the meat shielding for me. Oh, you coward. Here I am trying to help you, and you show your thanks by running away. I will, however, de-siege his province, because it'll uh, give us a bit of a bonus in relations. The rest of you just get back there. And there we go. Thriving Arms Industry gives regiment cost minus 10%, which also covers regiment maintenance, which is glorious for us. Otherwise, I am certainly not paying my men much. Right, one thing I need to be doing right now is getting myself a claim on air. Uh, I've been doing quite a lot of sloppy things in this campaign. And one of those was selling these lands off before fabricating the claims, but I kept one on air, and that would be rather useful. Just hoping that I don't get revolts around here. Maybe separatism will be kind to me. I want a claim on air, and I want to attack them, even though they're allied with Timbuktu and Messina. The reason is I want to be able to stagger their truces with me so that I don't get uh, one big whoop-ass coalition at the same time. And if I got attacked it would be by Yao, Air, Songhai and probably Timbuktu and Mali as well since they have uh, alliances with quite a few of these folks. Uh, even as I am now I doubt I could take on all those independent nations without plummeting into debt and I just can't handle that. Not one to be taking loans. I'm really rather enjoying this though. As soon as that claim is down, I will rush into air, try to destroy them. My truce with air runs out at the same time as Timbuktu, so it should be only those two that I end up fighting. Messina as well, but I don't think Messina's too much to worry about. I can actually put a number to that.
Yeah, Messina are toting 10,000. Mali, 16,000. Air, nowhere near that. 7,000. Actually, maybe I should rethink this. Because Mali is allied with... Hold on. Ugh, I'm having a brain fart here. Air is allied with Timbuktu. That's even less to worry about than Mali. Also, Timbuktu. They're not small enough to vassalize in one shot. Yeah, there's no point in making them a co-belligerent. There is some logic to making you a co-belligerent. But I do run the risk of getting these values too high. And if my vassals start uh, rampaging against me, then I have another set of problems. So I want to start your integration on 1515, so maybe I can get this war over and done with quick enough. Aren't you Regency, Jake? Hold on, maybe I can time it well. Aren't you in Regency, Jake? Not anymore. Well, let's see how long this very fragile leader of my country lasts. Yeah, my leaders just don't seem to last. Do love having this four, uh, four siege in my hands, though. And very soon our cavalry will be uh, fairly domineering. Yeah, so we attack air... Timbuktu and Messina will come, but uh, I don't think they'll be enough. That said, I should prepare for them with some extra forces. A few mercs wouldn't go amiss, expensive though they may be. The thing is, Zazao probably won't... Well, maybe they'll want to get involved? That would actually be quite interesting. Portuguese individual, please come back. I have experimentation to do. The rest of you get up there for now, please. Get in, please. Jake, in a past video, said the chance of air national idea is pointless. With your past experience and bad rulers and regency, have you changed your mind? The air chance wouldn't have uh, changed that. My uh, I died. My rulers died when I had airs. Uh, the air chance doesn't really make any change to that. Right, Zazao don't want to join in because they're heavily in debt. No doubt thanks to all those uh, rebels. Which is a shame, it would be real nice to have them on my side. I wonder if Mosi would want to uh, get in on that. I mean, you're an enemy of Messina. And your attitude towards air... I'm looking at the wrong guys here. Neutral, rivalry, neutral. You might just want to join in. You could soak up a bit of the punching for me as well, since they'd go for you first, probably, hopefully. Do really want that extra tech before I go all gung ho, though. Yeah, I will need to give this one some fair thought. Hmm. Well, it's only dip to have you as a friend, so we'll get you in and then see how you feel. You probably won't want to initially join in against air. But when Messina becomes part of that deal, you may well change your mind. Destabilize? Oh my, you have a, uh, a nasty truce with them. And this is costing me dip that I really don't want to be spending, because we need that technology for our ideas. Or those points for our, our ideas, rather. Hmm, guess that's that idea out the window. Which means I have to really weigh up if this is worth my time or not, because Messina and Timbuktu could throw a rather a large number at us. Messina looking at 11, uh, no, 9,000 troops there. Hey, or 7,000, I could probably clean them up fast, but Timbuktu is talking 10. Jake, consider changing government type temporarily to not lose Diplo. Nah, I like having uh, the extra manpower quite a bit. Still, we are hemorrhaging money here. So what's it going to be? I wonder how long it'll take Zazao to pay off that debt. The thing is, I have to go to war. 
Otherwise, it's just going to be one big Regency breathing down my neck. And that would be unpleasant. Yeah, we're not hurting that badly in dip power. I'll just imagine that I have a bad ruler. But one other concern is my pathetic. Okay, let's have a roll with you. No, you're also bad. Hmm. Somewhat torn here. Timbuktu has rivaled you, but you're friendly to them, so you'd probably get military access. You folks are rivaled, however. Nonetheless, Songhai <clears throat> has rivaled me. <coughs> so that'll probably be enough to get access through you. You know what, let's just go for it. What's the worst that could happen? I will just feed air... Probably partly to me and partly to Kano. The important thing here is that I don't have too much of a coalition to worry about later on. Let's just gun down that fort ASAP. So enemy numbers are rather high. Let's have our vassals avoid independent operations, and if they want to attach to me, then all the better. Highlands, huh? Well, it's not great. But we'll do it anyway. Jake, Separatists, the Air Ones are going away, and the Nupe Ones have a very, very low chance for rising up. Songhai have given access to Mali and Air, but not to Timbuktu. At least not yet. They may well ask for it yet. The thing is, Air now got the access, so they're probably going to run through into Timbuktu. What I should do is focus on grabbing this fort as soon as possible. Ugh, it's a... Fort plus a capital fort, unfortunate. <laughs> unfortunately. Alright, you want to uh, make yourself useful, Kano. Take Itesan. And do not attach to me. Money would be great right now, but I want that admin. No, Keno. Siege. Good boy. I saw a large stack there. Didn't like the look of that. Who could it have been? Guess we'll find out soon enough. Just throwing everything over there. Alright, as soon as you have that, Keno, move on to me, because I'm a little concerned about the situation. Good job. How about you, Dahomey? You appear to not want to do anything. So maybe you can make your way over here? Maybe? Maybe not? No, maybe the homie just wants to sit there and do diddly. Jake, remember that belligerents don't need extra mill access when one belligerent has it. Really? Hmm. No, I had no idea. No idea at all. Oh well, there they are. May as well send them packing while we have the chance. You there, you sure you still don't want to join in? No, you have all that debt. And we've been it would be real nice to pay you off to get you in here. But we'll have to pass on that. Send you packing before air come back with any bright ideas. You know, since my cavalry is so strong, I should probably consider. <sighs> I should probably consider sending them enough them in on the front lines. Our colony has been struck by a Roman fever. Five years of settlers down. Yeah, I ain't spending that. They'll just have to make do with slightly fewer settlers. It's all about the settler chance anyway. Everyone knows that. Okay, the question is why is Messina not joining in? They could really pound us nastily if they did. Yeah, they'll be here soon. Ah, well. So be it. 
Yikes. And away you go. Meanwhile, I need to keep taking this land. Terrible. I wonder if you're going to go to Ite-san and then over here. It's possible. No, you're going to retake that, which is good news for me. Still need to beat you down, though. There we go. I'll let my cavalry do their thing on the front line. Actually, that's a little unnecessary. Actually, that's probably uh, less than ideal. But I did it anyway. Sure hope they're not clever enough to really uh, mount their numbers back up forcefully against me. Those numbers, eh, they seem uh, quite horrible for me. Also, what am I doing with all these lazy diplomats? Jake, the homie has 25% increased coring cost. Watch out for that. Please tell me when they get that. Nope. Oh, hostile core creation on us plus 25%. Doesn't show up, though. I wonder if it actually counts. 496 dip power. What's their development? Yeah, probably. Okay, come on, for uh, for siege individual, prove your metal. Oh well, unfortunate, but what are you going to do? I pretty, in uh, one of my campaigns, I pretty much integrated England with all of that. Nothing we're not used to. And goodbye, capital. With a bit of luck, we can make our way over now. It would be really nice if Dahomey would stop uh, being all useless over there, but maybe that's asking for a bit too much. Still have large numbers of enemy to worry about here. With a touch of luck, Messina is too busy being back in Messina, so we can be able to advance. Oh! Nice! Mbwila. Mbwila. Unfortunately, not what I'm looking for, but if I did do that there, I'd be able to spread Sunni around here really easily. Well, maybe really easily would be pushing it. Yeah, we can get either get the stability or make uh, converting a little easier. Actually, I think we'll take the stability for now. The conversion we can uh, deal with later on. At least a wee bit later on. Is there anybody else I want on my good side for now? I don't think Joloff are about to join any coalitions. But uh, probably better to keep the uh, the individual free. So we could outright annex air if we let the five years tick by, or we could leave them with one province otherwise. I like that. I like that a lot. Leaving them one province still makes them a bit of a pain. But if we broke them up, especially with, well, anyone really. Hmm, how best to do this? Could just leave them with air. It's not.
not a very long truce, though. And when I attack Nupe, that brings in Strong High and Mali. Mali's... Oh, both of their guys. Their troops are made of paper. That's kind of helpful. So I could attack Nupe, gobble them up, and attack Mali and Strong High. Zazao would more than likely get involved in all that. Yeah, I sense something good can come of this. Jake, leave them with air and they will be crippled. Not quite. There is a slight concern with doing that. Sadly, war reparations are just a bit too much. The thing is, if I leave them with air, uh, they, uh, a lot of the strength comes from being an independent nation, which gives you one ducat and a ton of extra force limits, so I don't really want to leave them with all of that. If I took all this from them, can't really get the war reparations that way, but if I left them with just that, eh, that wouldn't be too bad. Between 1 and 16 with a bunch of countries, but bah. And I need to keep that important truce of Timbuktu and Messina, and my truces will be up in three years, and I'll have a six-year truce with the others. Kano doesn't really matter. Nupe, Yeo, and Stronghai do matter. Yeo have only an alliance with Stronghai. I wonder if Mossi is interested in that. Hopefully these worthless fellows have paid off a bit of their debt. Alright, seems worthwhile. There's no point in stressing out in this war a bit. I will take any ducat that I can, though, because, let's face it, the royal coffers are uh, a little tight. Acceptable. Yeah, better than uh, losing a whole bunch. Ah, oh, shoot, I was meant to transfer these occupations to my vassal. Maybe they'll buy them. Hmm, same religious group, I'm sure they'll be fine. Maybe you can even pay for that fort, that would actually be lovely if you could. How much uh, development will a vassal take? I wonder. Okay, well, I'm sure they'll take it. Till then, no point spending much money on you. Get our folks back down to Benin and remove air from the map. I uh, wish I could. We need a uh, claim on you. And I should be able to get the integration of Kano started soon enough. Will not be possible before 24th of April. Truce is up in September. Same... no, the year after even. Ah, sometimes things work out just nicely, but it'll work out even nicer if you will accept these provinces. Please do. Remove air from the map. Yeah, that may be a bit deadly for the whole world. Hmm. I forget, have conquistadors and explorers been made uh, less powerful than the generals and admirals? Jake, claim air's last province. Yeah, I will get around to that when I have a, uh, a moment. But at the moment, I do not have a moment. I should get a claim on Songhai before I sell more, though. Oh, shoot. I can't do both. Maybe I'll keep this province for myself, then. I mean, it's tiny in development. Probably has a good bit of um, strategic worth. Probably. I love my own confidence in that. Nice. Air is too far away for Kano to make into a core. They'll core this within like 16 months, so that's okay. And I don't think this is going to... Oh, it's air separatists, not these guys again. 2.5 years could increase autonomy. Yeah, why not? Yeah, we're fine little concerned about the whole money situation, so let's mothball that for now. And we'll barely turn a profit. 80% of the pips. And someone else is 80% weaker. Hmm. Okay. 
And we need to get our cultural heritage as well. It's actually a mission. Okay, so we will we will sell air, then begin integration. Seems like it would work out nicely. We can even see how they're doing on coring uh, Tenere. Yeah, Castile, I would do really wish they would go away. But there's little we can do about that right now. Portugal have what exactly? Portuguese Brazil. I can't see what Spain have, or Castile rather, until they uh, finish this colony. Then by clicking on it I'll reveal their capital and I'll be able to see everything I need to know about them. And then some. So, so far not bad. I think I'll get rid of you since you're costing me money that I'd rather not be spending. Then again I'm about to go to war but hopefully my good friends will help me out. I don't think I'll spend uh, dip on the next idea anyway since I need all the dip I can for integrating these fellows. That said, maybe I should sell air for good money. Ah, I guess we can speed for it. Nothing to worry about. We'll soon have our, clear on, our claim on Nupe. Is it Nupe or Noop? Or Noop? I don't understand. Maybe I never will. Well, one thing I can do is shift you guys over here. Well, let's get rid of that, war, uh, that revolt risk. If only for a short while. Regrettable. Caught at the very last minute. Timbuktu still very able to join that coalition. I should consider improving relations with them as well. All the relations we need with you. But we'll keep you there just to tap it out a bit more. Otherwise, Songhai needs claimed. Fighting Songhai would draw in Yeo, and that's not something I'm overly keen on. Now, I really need to get the war going with Nupe as soon as the truce is over so that Yeo doesn't end up coalitioning us as well. Coalition wars are just... ugh. Getting peace in a coalition war is something else, I tell ya. Right, December next year. My Excellency General is dead. That is a travesty. That is not a travesty. That is unacceptable, Zazel. We have plenty good relations as they are. You got it? Come on. I need to sell you air. I don't want to be spending on this fort. Also, what are you in terms of forts? You've already got two. I wonder if you'll just tear down air. I get the feeling that you will. Which means I've wasted a chunk of money. Well, wouldn't be the first time, won't be the last. Here, take the air. But I need the ducket. Hmm, nice. 